One of the hottest selling digital items on Etsy is printable bookmarks. And this is where the buyer can purchase a downloadable file and then print out the design to use themselves. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make these bookmark printable designs using Kittle and it's gonna be super easy. And as you can see right here, I've even gone and printed them out myself on some nice card stock. So you can see how the colors have translated from Kittle to paper. And by the way, if you don't know what Kittle is, that's our online design tool, and you can get started for free and even follow along with me in this tutorial by signing up using that link down in the description. So let's get started. All right, let's get started with making the correct size for our artboard. And so what I'm gonna do is change this to inches, and then we're gonna go by two by six. And that's pretty common, especially for Etsy. I would say a typical bookmark size. Of course, you could go with whatever you want, but this is what we're going to go with. And we're only working on one, but I will show you how to put all four of them on one page in a little bit. But right now, we're just working with our one artboard, which we're going to export and then upload later. Now, there are so many different ways you could go about this with so many different illustrations. I'm going to go for a watercolor style right here. You can see there's these watercolor color florals which I think are super popular again you could go with any kind of illustration theme we're gonna go with watercolor flowers and kind of famous quotes by famous authors and so what we want to do is find one that's gonna work for the design layout I think this flower works really nicely of course you could size up any of the others as well and so what we're gonna do is have this flower be a little bit bigger and more towards the bottom kind of going off of the page and so that's what kind of why we're working with one artboard right now is we're just wanting to make sure that this one design is solid and then we'll move on with the other one so then we have a nice little place for our quote right here but let's go ahead and change the background color I'm gonna go with a kind of tannish muted yellow which you can see is sort of blended in there with the watercolor floral with the watercolor flower there you can see it down here in the bottom this kind of tannish yellow here that I think works really nicely and again we're going for a nice contrast as well something that works so you can add text by hitting the T button by the way and then I'm gonna put in be yourself everyone else is taken that's gonna be our first quote that we're gonna work with I'm gonna put this right here in the middle and then what we're gonna do is tweak our text a little bit and then find a font that works and so I have a couple of suggestions just if you're especially if you're first starting out you want to try to go through and try out a couple of different fonts and pick one that has some character to it right that has this maybe decorative element maybe a lot of you know charm that's in it already especially for this aesthetic that we're going for we want to do something that's going to speak volumes kind of by itself and you know it, it just let it do the work for you you know let the font do the work for you since it's already uh, got this kind of decorative element for example I like this one a lot because you can see the period here and uh, the dots above the eye have this kind of star element and this little loopy kind of flourishes in the letters I think has a lot of character to it already and so that part is kind of done you know so that's a great option especially if you're just starting out is to think about that now we're gonna use a contrasting blue here against the muted yellow and I think this looks pretty good especially with the with the with the floral down below in the pink now what we're going to do is add some blur because we're going to try to make this also look watercolory so to speak so i'm going to pick a lighter blue for the shadow of this text and then we can play with these sliders to kind of get it exactly where we want it maybe the offset was a little too big maybe we want the blur a little bit larger and we want to give it that kind of bleed effect and so maybe using a little bit of a lighter color of the font color you've chosen for example we're going with dark blue and then light blue for that shadow kind of gives it that bleed effect so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna type in our uh, author's name here by the way you can easily copy with holding the alter option key and dragging you can also hit command C and V if you want to I'm gonna make our author's name smaller and put it down here at the bottom and then for some legibility I'm gonna increase the letter spacing here so it's a little bit easier to read uh, especially in smaller sizes like this Hey, real quick, if you're getting value out of this printable bookmark tutorial, let me know by hitting the thumbs up button and that red subscribe button. It'll just take you a second. And then let me know down in the comments, what kind of bookmark designs are you making and putting on Etsy? Are they some sort of kind of vintage style? Are they like a fantasy style? Are they gonna have text? Are they gonna have illustrations? I would really love to know how you're using Kittle to make your printable bookmarks. So let me know down below and let's get back to the tutorial. 
And so now that we're feeling pretty good about the general layout, I think we're going to spice things up a little bit. I'm going to delete uh, be yourself. Then I'm going to copy and paste this text. So again, I was mentioning if you hit the command C and command V, uh, now the text is right there. I can just bring it up right here. I'm going to type be yourself again, but I'm going to choose a different font. So we're going to use uh, some varying fonts here to create interest. So if I go over to the script, I really like this one, the signature style font. It's really, really great. A lot of boutiques, um, a lot of blue boutique logos, templates have this font in it. It's just great for this environment as well. So now we have some interest in Be Yourself. Everyone else is taken. We've got our floral there. Maybe we want to tweak where our author name is. And so things are starting to come together here. But what we want to do is add a gradient to make it even more elevated. Now we have a lot of these different element options here, these gradient options. I'm just going to look for the basic one. And then I'm going to show you how to use them because uh, it may it may be a little bit confusing if you start changing your colors. So let's pick the basic gradient box here and make sure it's in the middle. And then I'm going to make the darker part all the way down to the bottom behind the flower. So right click and go behind. Now for our first color, I'm going to choose this blue. And then for the second color, watch what happens when I click the other blue. It goes all the way to full opacity. So I just need to bring this down. I need to bring the second one down. And then now our gradient is complete. You see like that. So don't be alarmed if you pick a second color and it goes to a full box. It's okay. Just need to make sure you turn the opacity down. Now I'm going to duplicate our flower and set it to overlay because I think it makes a really, really cool effect, especially with the gradient going on there in the background. And then we can move our flower. And we're just saving ourselves some work here because the work's already been done with these high resolution watercolors. And I think this is looking good just like this, especially playing with that background. However, we need to add some texture. Maybe this one's a little too harsh, but in the watercolor environment, the paper texture comes through really, really nicely. And so I want to make sure that that's evident. So we may need to go through and pick a different, a couple of versions. I think this one actually is looking pretty nice. You can again, change that opacity slider to see how intense the uh, the effect is going to be but I think this one is working uh, you may just want to tweak it to make sure that it works exactly how you want it now I mentioned we're gonna uh, we're gonna download and upload this to be able to print on an 8x5 by 11 so I'm gonna make sure that our size is pretty massive uh, 2000 by 6000 it's not gonna hurt you I'm gonna export a JPEG or a PNG is totally fine again we're gonna upload these back into Kittle and print them out on an 8 by 5 by 11 so here is that sheet that I've made and I think it would be kind of cool if you had you know a title maybe your logo there on the left as well as maybe your shop your URL or something over on the right and this is, could be a cool way for your customers when they print it out they kind of get this extra element of branding so if I go to upload media I've already got all of the finalized four versions here again you just watched us make one uh, but I'm going to upload four here. Make sure they're all together. So I'm going to click them in. They're always going to go to the same place. So now all four are here. I can just size them up accordingly. Then what I need to do is go over into the grid. So I'll turn the grid on like this. And then I like the sizing of these boxes because it's it, for, for an 8 by 5 by 11. I'll kind of show you why. So I'm going to grab all of these and bring them over here. And again, you may need to do some tweaking, some testing at home. But about six boxes here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, is about 2 inches for this book arc, so to speak, on a uh, on an 8 by 5 by 11. Uh, that's kind of the general idea. Yes. Again, you may need to tweak with this, but here I can I can put all of these basically one box space away. And then as an extra little add-on, you don't have to do this. Again, I would test this before you upload it to your Etsy shop to get it exactly how you need it. I'm going to make some cut marks here just so people know, you know where they're supposed to cut within. Uh, as well as maybe, you know, for example, I do have a printer that does full bleed, so I wouldn't necessarily have to worry about it, but maybe a lot of people, I guess, probably wouldn't, uh, but they still want to get their, you know, they still want to get their bookmarks correct. So I'm just adding some cut lines to make sure that things are going to go through correctly. And then once we're feeling pretty good with that, what we want to do is make sure we download our settings correctly. So we're going to stay at 11 by 8.5. 8.5 and then change it to 300 because we're going to print this. It's going to be a pretty large file. And then I would say the standard is probably PDF. Uh, you could try out some other ones. You could also see what other creators are doing on Etsy. JPEG might be fine, but PDF is probably what you're going to go with. So here are the bookmarks printed out on cardstock. You can see the colors look pretty good. And here it is cut out and I'm ready to put it in my book and save my place.
Now, if you wanna see other tutorials using Kittle, I have these videos here on my right that I know you're gonna enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.